Hey everybody, Greg here, and I want to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to set the uh, level of tolerance for spam in your network solutions uh, webmail interface. So, step one, you're going to go to webmail.networksolutionsemail.com. That's the portal to log in to the network solutions email. And once you're logged in, you'll be in your inbox, but you want to click on these three lines up in the upper right hand corner and choose settings which will bring you to you know this kind of basic settings menu so we, we click and there we are um, and from there you'll want to click on this triangle to the left of where it says mail to expand out expand out these options here uh, for the mail settings and under that you'll see junk mail um, is a section that you can go to and you want to set that spam filter accordingly. So if you've been getting people telling you, hey, I sent you an email, but it bounced back as being you know, undeliverable, that it wasn't secure or whatever, it didn't get through the spam filter, that's where you want to adjust that. You could start with essentially a relatively low uh, threshold. And, and allow more emails to get through. And then, um, you know, if you start seeing some problems with junk mail that shouldn't be coming through, you can start stepping it up a little bit. But this might be a way to help you uh, avoid having that issue of emails not getting through because they're incorrectly marked as spam. Now, one of the factors that determines whether something is spam or not is, you know, the person who's sending it to you, are they in your address book? Um, is their email and name in your address book? If so, then it's less likely it's spam, right? Because it's somebody that you know. Um, is it somebody you've had email exchanges with? If you've written them back and forth, well, hopefully the system will learn, okay, there are a number of exchanges here. That person probably isn't spam. So the the time when it really becomes a problem is if it's somebody that hasn't contacted you previously, that, that might be more likely to be mis- uh, interpreted as being spam. So uh, anyway, I hope this uh, video helps and uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Always appreciate that. Have a great day.